Uh, he famously used to be the naked chef, but apparently Jamie Oliver likes to keep his kecks on in the kitchen uh, because he's revealed he liked a pair of pants so much that he bought a load for all of his staff, presumably his male staff. He said the pants in question, I have to be delicate here, cradled his bits like an angel. <laughs> and apparently, Frankie, you are familiar with these um cradling pants yeah wayne wears them does he yeah they're the only pants that he wear loves them i've had to talk about them a lot over over the past few years he uh, loves them and what, what's so special about them is is they they have there he is, oh, wow. <laughs> there he is looking his best um they have this special netting in them that cups your your bits you like know, a, it's a bit, a bit like, like a bra, bra for your but for your, yeah. yeah. And so I, I guess that's, that's more that anyway. No, because they're moving around in it, aren't they? <laughs> Whereas these keep everything in one place. We should, we should get this from Wayne directly. Yep. Let's get it from the horse's mouth, as it were. Can't get a game of golf in peace these days. Lou Simmer on my case to give a review of uh, Sax underwear. Never leave home without them. They are unbelievable. It's that ballpark pouch which cups your balls absolutely beautifully. I will never ever wear a different underwear brand again. They stop all rubbing. They are the most comfortable pair I've ever worn. Make sure you get a pair. He does love them. I know, honestly, <laughs> that video was about three minutes long. Yeah. He was talking about his pants and his golf balls. Very I mean, passionate. I thought if I rang him and said, could he do a video? Because <laughs> we're, we're talking about these pants that you absolutely love. And he was playing golf. I thought he'd be like, no, babe. And he was like, yeah, all right then. Yeah, that one's all right. Do you want me to do another one? He loves them so much. Other pants are available, of course. Of course um, so what's yes. your perfect pant? Um, it's a thong. With boxer shorts. Yes. Have you ever heard the brand Sax. No. S A X X. Like, so look, if yeah. one could give one, like, a gift. Yeah. Like, yeah. like but, but I'm not even joking, right? So, and I'm not, I have no relationship with the company at all. This, I think you're about to. I have, well, I, I had, I, the crew who we use, we had this moment, like, what are you wearing? They all pull up a little bit, kind of inclined, kind of thing. <laughs> but, and I, and I, like, you know, I bought them all Sax. Yeah. It's, if you want to have your balls cradled by an angel, yeah, <laughs> all day. Who doesn't? Every day. Yeah. Um, they have. This is truth. TM ballpark technology. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that cool to look at. Yeah. Yes. I don't think. But ballpark technology. But but ballpark. <sighs> I'm so, not even joking. Do you ever no. call people? It's like do you, call if you were saying what's the one, one of the biggest the like... revelations in the last two years. Yeah. It's that. Okay. Yes. Uh, tickets avail. And I'll be teching that show. Yes. Hello, Jamie. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you got, <laughs> you got some sax pants. You bought in some sax boxer shorts. <laughs> Literally. No, you have to look. This is the TM. Yeah. That's the, so if I'm having a little look inside. That's ballpark technology. Oh, so you tuck them in the little pouch. Have a look. Oh, that is literally a little pouch for your balls. That's in gonna, there, Jamie. Uh, I was going to reach in and have a look closer, and then I realised they are genuinely your pants, yeah. aren't they? That yeah, yeah. You, you're just taking them off in the <laughs> toilets and then brought them back in to show us. <laughs> it's hanging out there like Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Now. <laughs> now you're hanging out in your jeans, your boxes. No one will know. They look amazing. No, I'm going to check them out. Yeah, they cradle yeah. them. Yeah. The cradle. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. See you, Jamie. <laughs> Well, very rarely do we get a reprise from the guest during the outro. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Uh, let alone they come in and show us some boxer shorts that they were possibly may or may not have been wearing earlier in the day and show us where the balls go <laughs> in the boxer shorts. But it's happened. And, and if at the start of this crazy journey known as Off Menu, someone had told us one of the episodes, one of the guests will leave to go and do an interview respectfully for the one show... <laughs> but then reappear during the outro to show you their boxer shorts and where the balls go in it. I would not have thought, well, that will be Jamie Oliver. But that's what's just happened to us in our yeah. life. And special. Yes. Very special moment for us there. I was genuinely about to reach in and touch them. Yep. You were about to touch where the balls go to see, oh, where are they going? And then yeah. you realise, as you're about to do it... They've just been there. That, yeah. The yeah. balls have literally just been there. 
I was going to I was going to reach in and touch the pants. Yeah, because he had the, pa he the pants. He didn't come in, pull his trousers yeah. down. I just didn't want to make clear to the listener well, yeah, what happened. The listener didn't yeah, the box see what was in happened, his hand. Yeah. He didn't come in, pull his trousers down, and go have a look at the ballpark technology. <laughs> look at where they go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He he came in holding some boxer shorts. Yeah. And with, with his trousers up. Yeah. Trousers up, zipped up. Done I'm up. presuming he has other boxers on the premises. Yeah. He was holding a pair of boxers. Yeah. Said, look at these. Came round, opened the boxes up so we could look inside the boxes, and you could see that there was a little compartment for the balls there. Yeah. I didn't realise, I didn't think about this, yeah. that maybe people listening at home <laughs> thought he came in, pulled down his trousers, <laughs> said, look at these, then look at where the balls go, and Ed was at one point tempted to reach in and touch them. Yeah. Because that, that isn't what happened. No, that sounds bad. Well, it sounds unusual for, for the pod. Mm. You know, it's not, not standard pod practice, but... um. Yeah, I, I forgot that the listener can't see what's happening, so they may have thought that Jay Motherford just came Sorry in. about that sound. I'm so, reaching in and scratching my balls. Yeah, that was Ed scratching his balls. Just mm. scratching They're his... They're a bit dry crack, today, actually. Crackly balls. A little bit um, dry. Ah, oh, this is... What, what an episode it's been. Didn't think it would end this way. Uh, this is the kind of episode I'll get a lot of texts from my mother about. Yes. Some people don't make it to the outro with podcasts. Sometimes, no. So they're going to miss out on that. People miss out. This is like, you know... An MCU and you know, end of credits kind of thing. Yes, it is. End of credits sequel, and people, some people go, oh yeah, and the bit about the bit when he came in and showed them the compartment where the balls go, and everyone will be like, what? I didn't know what that. What the hell? All the fair weather listeners, what? The fuck? What are you talking about? It's like you don't know, listen to the end. There's a little bit at the end. If you stuck round, you listen to all the post credits. After that, Jake Miller re-enters the room. <laughs> he takes out of his pocket a pair of Pax boxes. Sax boxes, sorry. I didn't get the name there. S-A-double-X, sax boxes. I know they're sax boxes because they made a great joke earlier in the episode and only Benito heard it. What was it? Well, both of you and Jamie spoke over it. Yes. I was saying, does he bring new male employees in and tell them they're going to get the sax? Oh, I did hear that. Yeah. Well, you didn't laugh. Mm, in my head. Benito. Yeah, laughed. Benito laughed. Yeah, that's who, I'm, that's who I'm aiming at anyway. Give him the sax. Right, let's pop off, shall we? We may as well go, although, you know, I feel like if we sit here and talk for longer, he'll come back in and <laughs> <With something else. laughs> there'll be other stuff, you know, be ashamed of it.